Hey everybody, welcome back to Two Acres Evolving. Today I went to Lowe's and I actually found quite a few things on clearance and everything was 50% off. Some of the plants I know what I'm gonna be using them for, um, but some of them I don't. Um, but with them being 50% off, I couldn't pass them up. So I decided to just go ahead and stock up on a few things. I'm gonna be building a lot of flower beds this winter. So next spring, I'm gonna have a lot of areas to fill in. So with them being 50% off, I couldn't pass them up and I decided to stock up on a few things. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you what I got. So here's the group of plants that I got today. I believe there's 11 of them. And everything in this group has winter interest, which is something I really need to focus on. It's important to have things that look good in the spring, summer, and fall, but some people, including me, tend to forget about the winter, and I still want things to look good during the winter months. So I decided to pick all of these up because all of these will look great during the winter months. So I have a couple of arborvitas. I have a couple of junipers, actually a couple of different types of junipers, and then the plants in the back are holly shrubs. So let me go ahead and separate these out and give you a little bit closer look at them and give you some details on each one. All right, so these are the holly shrubs that I got and these are actually the ones that I'm gonna be using in the project for today. So these shrubs can handle full sun to part shade. So the area that I'm putting them in, they should do really well. Um, these can get rather large. I'm not gonna let them get this large because the area that I'm putting them in, they're gonna be in front of some windows. So I'm gonna keep them trimmed back. However, these can get up to 15 to 20 feet tall and 12 to 15 feet wide. So if you need something that provides a little bit of privacy, maybe along a fence line or something, these would do really good. These are called Golden Oakland Hollies. And I like these because they have variegated foliage they have the dark green in the middle and then it goes to a yellow towards the ends. So I like the way these look. These are hardy down to negative 10 degrees. So these are hardy in zone six through nine. All right, these two are the arborvitas. These are called little giant dwarf arborvitas. I'm not gonna be using these in a project today. Um, the only ones out of this group I'm gonna be using are the hollies today. Um, but these, I just wanted to give you some information on. Um, I'm, I plan on using these in a container project, probably a little bit later this week. And these, um, these need full sun, at least six hours of direct sun. And these are really slow growers. These um, will get about four feet tall and wide. But with them being so slow of growers, um, these will do good in containers. And then eventually I can pop them out of the container and put them in the landscape somewhere. And also these are hardy down to negative 40 degrees. So these are very winter hardy. Um, so they're hardy in zones three through eight. And then the last group of plants are the junipers. The ones in the front, these are called, and I don't know if I'm gonna pronounce this right, but they're called mint julep junipers. I'll make sure to put the name up on the screen so you can see it. These require full sun as well. So at least six hours or more of direct sunlight. These will get up to four to six feet tall and about six to eight feet wide. And these are very winter hardy as well. These get down, these can get down to negative 40. So these are a hardy in zones three through nine. And then the juniper in the back, that one is called icy blue juniper. This one uh, needs direct sunlight, at least six hours or more of direct sunlight as well. And this one is very winter hardy as well. So all three of these, and then the arborvitas, all are very winter hardy. They're all winter hardy down to zone three and then up to zone nine. So the arborvitas over here, um, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be doing in a container project, um, but these three, I haven't decided exactly where I wanna put them yet. Um, I still have a lot of flower beds to build. So the flower beds that these go in may not even be built yet. But with them being so winter hardy, I'm in a zone seven and these are winter hardy down to zone three. So normally whenever they're in containers, you wanna make sure that they're at least two zones below yours. And these are four zones below mine. So I'm not worried about these surviving the winter at all in their plant cans. I'll just keep an eye on them and make sure they do okay. So now that I've given you information on all those, I wanna show you where I'm gonna be putting the holly shrubs. All right, so I'm over here in front of my house um, and this flower bed between the house and the sidewalk, um, I have really struggled with what to put in here. Um, I thought about doing just flowers, but I kind of want something that's a little bit taller. 
So I decided that I wanna go in with some kind of a hedge that starts from the patio and goes all the way around and then around about where that hydrangea is right there. Um, I'm gonna have to move that hydrangea for this project. But um, I thought those holly shrubs would look good here. Now, this is going to be a little bit of an experiment. Because the hollies can get so large, um, normally you would want to plant them somewhere where they can just branch out and do their own thing and get as tall as they want. Obviously with this being right by the house, I do not want them to be taller than the house. So I am going to keep them trimmed up to about the window level and I'm not going to let them come out past the sidewalk. So with keeping them trimmed up, I think they're gonna be fine, but there's a chance that they may struggle a little bit. And if I see any signs of struggling, then I'll pop them out and put them somewhere else where they can get as big as they want to. Um, I'll just keep a close eye on them, but I really like the look of them. So I wanna test them out in this area and see if they do well, because I think they'll look really good right here. So I've got a little bit of cleanup that I need to do. I have a ton of leaves that I need to pick up um, but as you can see, the trees still have a ton of leaves that need to drop. So I really don't want to come out here and clean up the leaves yet just to have all the other leaves fall off and have to come out here and clean them up again. So I'm kind of waiting until most of the leaves fall off the trees before I clean it up. And then, um, but this area I need to get cleaned up first because I'm going to be working in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and get the camera set up and get this project started. So I have all these spaced out how I want them and I wrapped around the corner here and I have one extra. I'm not going to put this one in because I'm wanting the hedge to stop right at the rock and this one is close enough to where it will grow out to the edge of the rock and then I can keep it trimmed up at that point. So now you can see why I need to move this hydrangea. It's way too close to the hedge and the hedge will just grow right over it. So I'm just gonna put this one up and dig this one out. And I'm going to move this hydrangea over to where I dug up one of the cannas in my last video. So that one will go right here in this spot. Um, this area gets morning sun and then is protected by the trees in the afternoon and evening. So this will be a perfect area for that hydrangea. this project done and I really like how this turned out. It looks a whole lot better over here now that something is actually growing over here 
and it's not just a blank area with rock. I think these holly shrubs are gonna do really well here. Um, now, again, I am gonna keep them trimmed up so they don't block the windows. These can get rather tall, but I think it'll be okay with me trimming them back. Um, I'm gonna keep an eye on them, make sure they do okay. It'll take a few years for these to form into a hedge, but I'm not really concerned because I like the way they look like this as well. I'll make sure to keep you all updated on the progress of these over the next few years and let you all know when they form into a hedge. And I'll probably be doing videos in the future of trimming them up and doing other projects in this area. So you'll probably see them in the background of other videos. Like, ignore the mess. I still got to clean up all my tools and stuff. But this area over here is going to be going through a whole lot of changes next spring. And I'll probably even get started on it this winter of pulling out all the grass and forming the flower beds. But remember how this looks now because next year it's going to look totally different. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.